YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This video is a really simple one. I just want to talk about what I've been doing over on GitHub with my GitHub game guides. So if you guys want to grab that on my YouTube video or YouTube channel, you'll always find a link tree. Click on the link tree, click on the GitHub, and that'll take you directly to GitHub. So today, specifically what we're talking about is GitHub game configs. So for a long time, I've always done game optimization guides all throughout my channel, sharing a config to make your life easier, but it always got put up on a Google Drive or a OneDrive and then the file will get out of date and lost and then you had to manually import it yourself and it was quite a pain in the ass. So I've actually taken all the headache out of all of that now and now I've got a method where I can easily stay on top of the, the, the configs for the games and to make your life a lot easier. It's, it's, this is going to be great. I'm really excited to show you guys this. Now in the future in my videos when I'm doing game specific guides as well, it will always be ported back to this website to show people how to import the config manually or the fast tracked way and I much prefer the fast track way. So two ways you guys can, or three ways technically you guys can import the configs. So let's just do a bit of a reader. GitHub game configs about use these configs as a starting point to improve performance, adjust binding sensitivity, refresh rate and resolution to your preference. Settings are subjective so these configs are not definitive. High-end GPU owners can afford to experiment with high-end graphics settings. So the whole point of this is, say you want to get into a new game that's on this list. So you want to get into a Battlefield game, you saw Battlefield on sale, you want to try out Battlefield 1, but you don't want to spend half a day trying to tune all your settings down uh, to maximize the frame rate. This will just do it all for you and it will be done within a few clicks. And then later on, if you've got a really good card, or you've got a slightly better card or it's an older game and you want to turn up some settings, you can experiment with that, but at least this will throw you straight into the game with all the settings done and to maximize the frame rate for your computer. It's pretty exciting. And there's going to be a lot more different games I'm going to do on here, guys. I'm going to cover most mainstream multiplayer online FPSs. And in the future after that, I would like to start covering some single player games and maybe give people the option for dirt, dirt low, low spec PC to try to get decent frames and then another config for the same game but like most things ultra but the things that turn down turn down that affect fps that don't make a huge visual difference so that would be cool in the future but for now i'm kind of just sticking for online multiplayer fps type of titles okay did like your bios windows pc game fresh tuned and optimized check out my pc service all links can be found in the description below just check link three so disclaimer caution your existing game settings will be removed when importing these configs sort of the only way to do it a lot of game configs will include bindings in this same text file or config file that graphic settings will be so it's the only way so i've got a disclaimer here and three ways we can import these so we could either just paste this code into our elevated command powershell window so you would click this here to copy it we would need to search for scripts because not all of you would have allow powershell scripts in here we just have to make sure this setting is on and then we'll have to go to PowerShell, right click, run as administrator, and you can simply paste this in here and press enter. And then boom, the list comes up and it will quickly import the config files for the game. And you've got a nice cool list here. See, I've got Call of Duty, which is all the mainstream lists. Um, and I'm going to cover, try to cover most titles, but it, I'll only go back so far unless I get requests from you guys. I decided to do all the battlefields all the way back to Bad Company 2 just for fun. And as you guys see, I have done Marvel Rivals. I recently did a video on that. And Delta Force, I did an updated Delta Force 1, which I would like to do an updated video with as well. And if there is any sort of information on importing these configs, as an example, I'll use the Delta Force 1. So I'm just going to import this config quite easily. It gives me some information on where I need to go. Sometimes you'll have to launch the game first, sometimes not. So here I need to just find the config um, folder specifically, which is this one, Windows Client. And then, yeah, there will be a readme. So for some games, for you to try out something extra that I can't automate. So as an example, there are some PCs that get a lot more frames with DirectX 11 for Delta Force um, and some people at harms. So sort of suggested here, try DX11 as a launch option in the game launcher. So either if you're on Steam or the greener launcher, the Steam, you do it through the game, Steam menu options. This is the greener launcher. Just go to settings and launch command. You can put DirectX 11 there just to try it out. So if there's any sort of readme, like extra stuff, it'll actually be written here um, to sort of make life a lot easier. So I'll show you guys an example of what this would look like if you were to get into a new game, boot it up, 
and it's just not running the greatest and you want to make it run good let's so just say battlefield 5 just as an example we just came on steam um on a steam sale a couple of dollars you wanted to try it out um you boot up the game with default settings and yes it helps that i have a really good hardware here but you know we're only getting about 190 fps um with the settings it's put us on by default it looks like it's put us on ultra um it's also put vsync on as well which is a problem um so especially if i wanted to run sort of like uncapped high frame rate so these are the kind of the default settings it's put me on so now i'll quit the game and i'll go run the battlefield um five uh config script to import it and show you what kind of a difference it can make so i'm going to do obviously the easy iwr method because it's way quicker and then I'll go select Battlefield. We were just playing Battlefield 5, select Battlefield 5. So it's gonna download the config files um, and install the config files for us. Some games you have to launch uh, to create certain config files and also so the game won't reset settings if you put the config files there and other games you don't. So fortunately, Battlefield 5 is one of those games where you actually don't have to launch the game first. So technically you could run this before launching the game after downloading the game. So we have to select the Battlefield 5 install folder to apply something called a user config. So here's my Battlefield 5 folder here. I'll just select that. That's why I've actually installed the game. So select, select folder, Battlefield 5 config applied. So now we'll go exit out of this and boot the game and see the difference. Okay, so now we're back in the game and it's done all the config settings for us. And I'll go around to the same area that we were before. I believe it was over here. And we're getting 440 FPS, 400 FPS on everything's set and if you guys don't like how the game looks you've got a starting point where you can go around and muck around with settings um also it's done the custom disable anti-aliasing little trick with the motion blur at one percent which is great um but let's say you don't like that you want to go just play around with some settings go ahead and play around with some settings see how it goes if you're not happy with the frames after playing around with some settings you can go run the config import script again to just start back from where we were so it's great it is quite painful for me to code all of this, make the configs, make sure the configs stick on someone else's PC when they launch the game. Uh, but long term, it's, it's definitely worth it. And if you guys have got any requests for some specific games, I would love to do them. Um, I will slowly be like trickling down the different games and putting different games on there. Let's say you really didn't want to use the IWR script or the IWR script breaks one day there's different options here which is great so we can manually download and replace the config files or we can manually download and run the powershell script so i'll show you guys what that looks like we can download the whole thing especially if you guys wanted to back this up but just keep in mind if you're backing this up and using it that way i am always updating this so you're better off coming here to grab it whenever you need to use it or honestly just use the iwr script anyway we'll go to the downloads folder and we'll extract the files okay and here we go here so <laughs> For you guys, if you don't want to do the whole script thing and run as admin, you could just allow scripts. That'll do the same thing too. And this will also unblock all the files in here so you won't have to manually. So this thing will do two things. Unblock all the files in here and also allow you to run PowerShell scripts without you having to press anything, which is great. So say we, we were playing with Battlefield 5 before and we want to do it manually. Well, we can do it manually two ways. Um, we'll go here, Battlefield 5. We could run that and that'll be the same script but on its own so it's still downloading from the internet that way so let's say that does get broken you could just go into the battlefield 5 and you could just drag these folders where they need to drag these files where they need to be so these specific files on battlefield 5 they're actually in settings so these would need to go here replace and the user config would need to go wherever our battlefield 5 folder is there so that's sort of multiple ways you can do it i really encourage you guys that you just use the iwr script because it makes life a lot easier but at least there's options if that ever breaks or i'm mid updating it at some point starting things to come got plenty more game optimization guides to come as well and the configs will always be provided here so bookmark the page if you're interested i'll catch you guys around see you next time